Hiya, Renee Jones here. I've been helping others lose weight, overcome emotional eating and other forms of self-sabotage, and to heal their hearts for 10 years as a coach. And I've learned a lot. And last week, we talked about the first six things that I've learned about weight loss and goal maintenance. Now, on to number seven. Consistency works every time. It's so frustrating. I may gain a pound or two here and there, and if I will just make consistently good choices, they go away again. The nerve. <laughs> I know, it's frustrating because it takes away all of my excuses. And that's not to say we never make adjustments. Our bodies are not static. So we may need to adjust some things. But consistently good choices, mm, they do tend to bring results. Eight, tracking is information. It's not a stick to beat yourself. Now, I still track now and again because we get creep. And it takes measuring and documenting to see where we're going wrong. You know that go-to dinner I was making? Turned out to be a diet buster. And I didn't know. It looked right. It made sense in my head. <laughs> Our eyes adjust too easily sometimes. And tracking to get information helps us be consistent. Nine. Never let a three pound fluctuation get to five pounds. If you are consistently weighing a little heavier after four days, something is amiss. Address it that day rather than waiting until Monday. Losing three isn't nearly as hard as taking off five to 10 or more. 10, the most significantly helpful tool for losing weight is letting your heart heal and that pays dividends. See, it's not just that food holds memories. It's a connection to an experience or a relationship that was soothing for us. And therefore, we return to that because it works in the moment. Imagine what your life would be like if you could drop just one piece of emotional baggage that you know, that, that belief that haunts you, that stuff that goes on in the back of your mind and drives you to food for comfort. Now, I've asked this question in groups around the world and I've never had anyone say they didn't want it. It is possible, not instantaneous, although it can be, but it is healing. Then when that wound isn't driving you to food for comfort or stress relief, it's so much easier to make really good choices. 11. It's not hard when you want your health more than you want the cookie. I had a friend who had a heart attack and he shifted his routine and food choices immediately. He no longer wanted what was creating inflammation that led to his arteries clogging. Don't wait for that. When you value your health, then our thoughts shift from, I can't have this, to, I don't want this anymore. 12. Accountability is key. Many of us struggle with doing something solely for ourselves. We'd do anything for someone else. But when it comes to our needs, we easily find ways to abandon them. External accountability makes the difference. That's one of the greatest values of having a coach because our job is to help you think critically so you can make decisions and choices that lead you toward your goal. To get a taste of this, register for my masterclass in December or let's talk so you can get on track to reach your goals now. All the best.